what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in western Pennsylvania and yesterday was my birthday no it was not my real birthday nor was it my spiritual birthday it was the I almost died on my motorcycle yesterday birthday I am one day old now so this is what happened and I don't have the footage of this because I wasn't actually recording that day uh, it was my first time go commuting to work so I uh, I just wasn't working or I just wasn't recording because it was kind of crappy outside and uh, it's kind of in a rush so it doesn't really matter and whenever I was going to record uh, coming back you know coming back home the GoPro has that little uh, screw in thing on the side Ugh. and uh, I didn't uh, I, I guess I had the wrong one I, you would think they would be universal but they're not so let me tell you what happened yesterday and uh, if there's anybody on here that clicked because you know they want to see the video sorry there is no video this is for uh, my subscribers because I want you guys to know that I practice what I preach and what I tell you guys especially in my last video the uh, how to mitigate risk is what really saved my life yesterday and if it if I didn't get killed uh, you know worse yet you know I would have had a total motorcycle and been out of the season so this is what happened I'm on a, a really busy road uh, William Penn it's uh, it's a highway kind of situation it, it, it's basically the main artery road that connects Pittsburgh to Monroeville to Greensburg to Uniontown and all that stuff so what happened there's a traffic light okay and it's fast moving traffic traffic light so I slow down I position for safety okay leave myself enough room with the car behind me I position for safety on this side of the road I keep it in first and I check my mirror to make sure dude behind me is stopping guess what he wasn't doing he was not stopping so I hurried up you know did my thing went off you know made my escape route and this dude slammed on his brakes and was probably a foot to two feet in front or you know close to the vehicle that was in front of me so if I did not do what I did I would not be making this video I would either you know have uh, been seriously injured or killed or my motorcycle would have definitely been totaled and I would have been out for this season you know I I just want to share that and you know it, it kind of does suck you know I ain't gonna lie that I don't have the footage of that but I don't know what this guy's doing it's taking forever but you know I just want you guys to know how freaking important it is to be in charge of what you're doing with your motorcycle you know I was reading some really interesting statistics this morning and I uh I knew about them but I kind of forgot about them and I kind of want to share them with you 60% of single accident single vehicle accidents that's you know just you on your bike 60% of those accidents happen because the rider was riding at excessive speeds or drinking and driving or drugs and driving okay that's 60% most of it goes to the uh, to the excessive speeding thing all right 40 the other 40 percent of that with single vehicle accidents is because of distracted riders them being on their phones or whatever it may be uh, you know glancing around I actually kind of want to do a video about um, uh, throttle therapy and you know is that a good thing or is it a bad thing and you know my whole take on that okay so 60 percent drugs and alcohol and excessive speeding and the other 40 percent is from you 
the rider not paying attention. All right. 75% of vehicle accidents involving two vehicles, so your bike and another vehicle, they happen at intersections, okay? What does that mean? What the hell am I doing? What, what does that mean? That means somebody ran a red light, somebody came in your lane, somebody wasn't paying attention and hit you, or whatever the situation may be. Now, those statistics made me feel really, really good. And the reason why they made me feel really good is because that means you are in control, okay? You are the only one who's gonna save your own ass, okay? You, you, you guys have to pay attention. And I'm not saying that you're not, and I, I don't want to come off, you know, like, oh, no, 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 or anything like that. Yesterday was a real big eye opener. And it's, uh, you know, you knew it was going to happen. It's crazy. It happened that, you know, less than 43 hours on the bike, less than a thousand miles on the bike. I had my first really, really could have been bad situation. That's how fast it happens, guys. That's how fast it happens. You have to be in control of your bike. You have to know how and what to look for. You have to be prepared. You know what I mean? So, you know, like I said, yesterday could have been really bad. It, it, in all honesty, it really could have been really bad. And, you know, if it wasn't for the Lord watching over me and for me doing all my research and, you know, practicing and doing all that stuff, we could have had a totally different day yesterday. You know what I mean? So, I don't really know how long this video is going to be. Maybe this will be the first official episode of The View. I, I have another video that I wanted to be on the view for the first view, but, you know, I really wanted to get this out. You know what I mean? Because I, I really want to stress to everybody just, just how freaking important it is. You know, you are a gazelle. You are a beautiful gazelle riding around in the savannah. And there are lions all over the place trying to take you out. You have to be a defensive rider. You have to be a smart rider. You have to pay attention and recognize patterns. You have to think not only for yourself but for every single person on the road. You know what I mean? This guy in front of me, what if he jams on the road? Hey, look, we got a red light. I got to stop. What if guy behind me is not stopping? I got to make sure he's stopping. I'm going to send an escape route. He's stopping. I'm keeping it in first. He stopped. Okay, there we go. We're good to go. You see what I'm saying? Like, you just have to be completely aware of what's going on. And I don't want to really keep, you know, you know, going over the, the, the same stuff and uh, I, I wanna, I'm gonna start doing my mitigate risk videos but I'm only gonna do one topic at a time. My last one was 30 minutes and I actually might redo that one again because I, I want people to, to watch them in the sense, not that I think that I'm a great rider and that I want people to, you know, watch me but, you know, my whole idea is to get new riders interested who want to watch a new rider because maybe they had experience with you know people who've been riding for years and like oh yeah jump on a 1000 r it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what your first bike is or whatever it may be you know so that's kind of my take on it um and that's that's all i really really wanted to say yesterday dude <laughs> that really could have been bad and another thing that happened to me yesterday that could have been bad, and this was completely my fault, was I ran a stop sign. And I ran a stop sign going pretty decent. And uh, it's not that I did it on purpose, obviously. The sun was right in my face. I couldn't see anything. And then I passed on. I'm like, is that the stop sign? And I look back. I'm like, oh, crap. That really was a stop sign. And that was my fault. I take full responsibility on that one. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, guys, could have been a crazy day yesterday. It was the wild, wild west out here. We had a line of storms sweep across the the continental U.S., and uh, we got some pretty crazy winds. All these lights were 
were out and all that stuff so you know whatever whatever we're just gonna ride around for a little bit now probably gonna shoot uh how to mitigate risk part two today it won't be uploaded today i don't know when it'll be uploaded but man oh man oh man oh man what a crazy crazy situation you know what i mean and after you know after i made my my escape and all that and i turned you know to look at the dude and i didn't flip him off i didn't get mad you know whatever you know he just he just waved he just waved and it's like oh man you have no idea you could have like been going to jail for like vehicular manslaughter if i didn't you know pay attention it's an interesting color absolutely not skies but it is a beautiful day here in southwest PA I hope that your day is beautiful as well you beautiful gazelle you is this guy stopping he came up pretty sexy and it seems like two once the weather gets nicer because you know uh, you know the extended forecast shows like you know high 50s and all that people now are starting to be more active so there's more people out on the roads more people doing you know whatever so you know that's just something to also be aware about you know weather changes brings out more people you know it brings out more people Clay Pike service. Oh man. Hey, so yeah, you know, let's talk about the channel real quick since this is kind of like a view, the view, you know, and you know, we're not really talking about anything particular. Uh, I just want to thank everybody again for, you know, being as uh, active and all that stuff on this channel i think that's that's absolutely great you know what i mean so that being said you know if, if there's anything that you guys would like me to talk about or go over you know maybe there's some concept that you're not really finding a bunch of videos on and if i can uh offer some insight i would be more than happy to you know we talked uh, several times you know about my status as a rider and uh to take it not with a grain of salt but to further educate yourselves you know but uh yeah if there's any specific topic or any idea or uh anything like that you'd like to uh like to ask leave it in the comments you know what i mean because uh we have a whole summer to be together guys we got a whole summer. You're going to go. You're going to do your bike riding. You're going to come home, sit on your couch, and you're going to watch more bike riding. Because that's what I do. Because I have no life. It is very sad. Why am I sad? Ryan Funk. Was his last name really Funk? Funk, Funk, Funk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Funk, Funk, Funk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's stopping. No, no, no. Oh, I might actually wrap well no we won't wrap this up this is probably not all that long of a video but uh if I do wrap it up because I go back and I see that this is already 15 minutes we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up I will talk to you guys in the next one if not then we're just gonna keep on talking so I will see you guys later or not <laughs>